This body of work falls under the fair use act. This work is also a parody and or a body of fiction. The author makes no claim of validity. Hey, put down that gun and get off my grass. I just cut it. And by the way, you got mail. This brought to life image was of Mary Fields, better known as Stagecoach Mary. Uh, she was believed to be over six feet tall. Uh, not much is known about her early life, but she was thought to have been born between 1832 and 1833. It is known that she was in West Virginia, where she worked for the Warren family. Then she ended up on a steamboat on the Mississippi River. Later on, after that, she ended up in Ohio, where she worked at a, a covenant for nuns. And she uh, did all kinds of household chores, including laundry, uh, as well as ran errands and even did the gardens and the the lawn she mowed the lawn and uh, She was known to be pretty rough with people that crossed her or anyone that stepped on her lawn after she mowed it uh, She was known for hanging out in town at the uh, saloons where the men hung out she was known to drink and to carry guns uh, but she, other than that, she was also well-loved in, in the community. Uh, later on, she moved to Montana. It was believed she was following a, a friend who was a sister at one of the covenants from uh, Ohio. Uh, they both ended up at a covenant in uh, Montana, uh, near Cascade, Montana. And uh, so she kind of helped look after look after her also she did this pretty much the same thing there that she did at the other covenant she ran errands she did household chores and looked after the grounds she also ran you know different uh, errands and everything but unfortunately there was an incident that occurred at uh, one of the saloons between her and another male and it involved drinking and and guns and all that therefore she was dismissed from the covenant but still she kept her connections with the uh, sisters there in montana uh after that she tried to open up restaurants and and you know various businesses but they didn't do very well because she had a big heart and she would give free food to people and all that so that didn't work out too great but she ended up working for the uh, contracted by the post office as a star route carrier and she was known to drive a stagecoach and deliver mail to northern montana and in areas ar around cascade and you know various other areas up in there because it was very harsh it was very harsh conditions and everything so you know she was willing to do that uh, she was the second female to uh, get a star route from the US Post Office and the first African-American woman to uh, do this task as well so she did that for a while uh, and this was after uh, like 1895 and all that she did that for a while and then later on after she retired from doing that she was able to open up eateries and she also babysitted children and all that she was known as a uh, a well-liked public figure in that area people really thought a lot of her and uh after she died they uh paid to have her buried near one of her routes and uh, they made her a mascot and all that for sports teams and things like that so she was really well liked and really well thought of.